Hey, this is Rick and welcome to another DIY. This one is going to be on on an air bubble loop system. Uh, recently I've gotten into DWC, which is uh, deep water culture for growing vegetables, uh, flowers, orchids, whatever you want to grow. Um, I have a background in aquariums, fish tanks, and I also, if you look through some of my videos, I've done uh, aquaponics. This is going to be combined. I'm going to use nutrients from my aquarium to feed my plants that I'm growing with this system. I'm familiar with air stones, and air stones are great, but they need to be replaced every so often. With the DWC stuff, I'm seeing different projects out there where they are getting away from air stones. You can buy the big air stones. They get expensive. It's hard to find a distributor for them. Uh, they get clogged up if you get uh, any kind of green algae or anything in there. So I'm going to try something different. It's a little DIY project. This is going to be an air bubble ring and it's going to go inside of my DWC container. And then of course I have a net pot that will go on top of that that will provide the nutrients for my plant, vegetables, etc. So for right now, this is some other stuff I picked up on my low budget build. I went to Lowe's and I picked up this 30 foot coil, a quarter inch vinyl tubing. That was like under $10. I got some quarter inch vinyl tees for the airline. There's 10 of those and they were like $4. I picked up this used um, air pump off of Craigslist. It has two nozzles on it and you can regulate them on each side and I got that for ten dollars. So there are ways to make this stuff on a budget. So this is going to be a, a bubble ring. Um, I've seen other designs on the internet and I'm going to try this myself. Now this will be the container I'm going to use. You can use any kind of bucket. You use a five gallon bucket if you want. I had these. These were like a dollar from the dollar store. And they're coming out to be about, uh, well it says 2.5 gallon. So we'll go ahead and um, I'm going to lay this out. That's about where I want my bubble ring to be. So go ahead and cut that. Okay, so now that I have my ring basically completed, so we go ahead and we'll open this up. And you're only going to need a couple of these. So you put one on there like that. It's going to go like that. Now you can put another one in here. And then what we'll do is we want this to feed. So we'll either, you could either put one, a T like that, and then sticking up. So your airline will come in like this and feed this ring. Or if you want to get fancy, you could put another line through the center here so you get bubbles through the center. And then I'm going to take this one T here and I'm going to roll it up. And that is going to feed my air pump. So we put these all together. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just cut a hole right there. I'm going to cut the tubing right here. And I'm going to cut the tubing right there. So we'll go ahead and do that. Cut it there, cut it there. You could go ahead and do all one complete design like that and just put your holes in around and you'll just have bubbles, but I'm going to put an intersecting tube in the center here so that I have a full ring of bubbles. So we'll go ahead and we'll put these T's together. And if you have problems with this, you could heat this up with a, a heat gun or you could soak it in some hot water. If you don't have the dexterity to go ahead and put this together to make it a little easier on your hands. I have uh, some issues at times. I have fibromyalgia, so everything aches. So I have to struggle sometimes to put these together. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause this video and then I'll come back and uh, show you what I got. So now that we have our ring complete, we've got our T sticking straight up in the air. We've got our T's intersecting here. You can make these as small as you want, maybe experiment with them. I mean, for $10 in hose and $5 in these T's, you got like $15 wrapped up in this bubble ring. Probably going to want to invest in some washers to put in here to just hold it down to give it some weight because it might want to float up. And I'll show you what to do there. But for right now, I'm going to poke in with this awl, you could get a drill if you want to. Just take an awl and maybe every two inches poke a hole. 
You don't want it real wide. You just want enough that your bubbles are going to leak out of there and they'll burst on the surface and keep that nutrient solution agitated so that there's plenty of oxygen in there for your roots for your plants. Now this is the first one that I've made so hopefully this will work out. Just a project I've been kicking around but I haven't been feeling well and then we'll poke some holes around here. And these are going to probably come out to looks like about a sixteenth, no larger than an eighth. And then there's my holes all set up around there. You can see that. You could probably go right through if you wanted to. If you want some more bubbles coming out of the bottom, it, it doesn't really matter, I'm sure. As long as these are opened up enough to let air out. You don't want too big of a hole because you got a volume of air that you want to disperse and you won't be able to push it through these center points. If the holes are too big, you need uh, to be more compressed for that volume to go through this loop. So I'll go ahead and I'll grab some galvanized washers and I'll put some of them around there for weight and we'll see how this works out. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I've got some galvanized washers. Um, I washed them off. But these are galvanized. They shouldn't uh, corrode in the uh, water environment. So what we want to do is take these tees back Part, um, when you first start to put this together, just dry fit it. Don't push it all the way on because these are hard to get with the flared ends of the T on there. Once you get that hose on there, it doesn't want to come off. So just dry fit this, just push it on lightly to get your measurements and then take it apart and put your washers on. So I'll pause the video and I'll go ahead and pull this apart and put my washers around. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I put this back together and I just spaced my washers out uh, past the holes. This is going to be plenty heavy enough uh, to weight down this um, bubble ring. I'll go ahead and I'll put it in my bucket and I'll hook up my air line to it and my air pump and we'll see how it works out. So here we have my uh, bucket set up with water. I have an air pump that's already set up with an air line already attached to it. And we'll go ahead and we'll set our bubble ring in. It went right down to the bottom, no problem. You can space out your washers if you want to. Bubbles are still going to go around it. I wouldn't be too anal as long as it's holding down. I'm going to go ahead and attach my airline tubing to my bubble ring, which is right here, and set that back down. And the bubble ring's in place. I'm going to go ahead and plug in my air pump, and I'm going to adjust my air up a little bit. Now I've always been told we want those little bubbles to come up like that so that they'll pop on the surface and that looks like it's doing a good job. If you want more than that then you can go ahead and uh, puncture some more holes in that tube but I'm going to go ahead and run this for a while and uh, see how we make out. I'll put some nutrients in here and I'll get my plants started and we'll see how it goes. So that's it. Uh, I hope this project works for you. Give me a thumbs up, thumbs down, start a discussion, whatever you want. And once again, thanks for watching. Take care.